guys, welcome to 974 Exotics. That's our first video and you're in for a treat because we just received in Qatar the most exclusive and uh, exotic. exotic car. That actually, we didn't know that it was here only like a few days ago, so you are in for a treat. I mean, we couldn't, we couldn't just start the channel with a normal car. I think that's the most exclusive car that we can have uh, to present to you in Qatar, so that's so special. Thank you for this treat. My pleasure. So uh, we'll start the introductions because this face I think we're going to be seeing so much of. Maybe. Uh, so I will let you present yourself. Sure. Present who you work for and present us this special piece of art. My name is Mazen. I'm the PR marketing executive at Alfred Dan Automobiles. And today we are celebrating the arrival of Pagani Automobili to Alfred Dan Automobiles becoming the official dealership for the Italian manufacturer here in Qatar, finally. I mean, me as a Qatari person, I'm like so proud. You know what, since we are in a closed area and due to the uh, rules and regulations with the coronavirus, I hope everyone is safe in their own respectful countries. Let's take them off and just keep a distance. Absolutely. Because I'm dying. I mean, Absolutely. just the simple fact that everything is made of carbon fiber, the, even the interior is like a piece of art. The whole car is literally, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a piece of art. Like just the monocoque in itself, it took them almost five years to produce. Uh, the monocoque is made of what? A carbo carbotanium. Carbotanium, carbotanium and, and carbo triax. Yeah. A combination of both. Yeah. I was like just amazed by the fact that it has less than. 1,400 kilos? Yes, it is about 1,280 kilograms. So uh, Power to weight ratio, torque? Very, very high because of its low weight, because of the amount of carbon fiber that went into uh, making the body of the car. And uh, you have a very powerful engine. It is a AMG V12, 60 degrees engine, uh, capable of putting out 764 horsepower, uh, which is about over just over 1,000 newton meters of pure torque. Wow! So very powerful. Not just looks, but oh, yes. uh, it's a beast of an engine. It is a beast on the road. The flaps that you have, the two flaps in the back and the two flaps in the front. When you are going really, really, really fast in this car, uh, and you are hitting the G's on spot, the flaps open up to release air to put the car on a mode that basically it doesn't swirl it doesn't like get out of track so it's basically uh when you say power to weight ratio you're literally saying wind to weight ratio so it puts the car on the ground it grabs it hold and uh i mean driving it on the tarmac with uh, these kinds of tires these kind of wheels with this ingenuity is just uh can we say heaven on earth kind of uh, <laughs> experience yeah. so as you said wind is definitely a very major element you're supposed to be uh, feeling like you're fluid as you rip through the wind if you and go on youtube and you just search for the history of this car you're gonna hear the uh the ceo and the owner and the founder of the pagani uh, mr horatio pagani he is saying like literally we designed this car based on the wind so it's just it's just another form of uh, of engineering that goes into these kind of cars because they're just masterpieces. Just the plaque itself here, the name, and the roadster. Just one name takes them twenty four hours to grave out of a block of aluminum. Like they go to that extent. So imagine the whole just, car. I mean, when it comes to uh, when it comes to intention the details i mean just the fact of when you see i mean anupam is going to take a close-up on the carbon weave they are literally symmetrical literally symmetrical i mean you cannot 
get more perfection than this. Is, when you sit in the inside and you want to have like a jet feel, I mean, we talked about air, we talked about everything. The, the style came out of jet fighter planes and whatnot. So the gear mechanism, the fact that it's like, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a piece of art in itself, actually. It's a piece of art in itself. What I love about Paganis or Rishi Paganian himself is the fact that when they do cars, one of the things that all the cars are literally like limited edition and they're numbered. This, this is number 61 of 100. Of 100. Sure. Let's try this. Let's try this. Don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to stay uh, elegant. <laughs> work. It'll be it, it, yeah, yeah. It'll be work. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, so many people told me about the key. Like, yes. it literally looks like iconic. A, like, a, a real car key. Pretty much. Okay. So, you have two ways of switching on the car sort of automatic detection mode where the car detects that the key is slotted in here and you can basically use your start and stop button. The other way is more of a manual. Uh, method that again pays tribute to the mechanical and, and, and the physical side of you know being in a car and if you can go ahead and basically switch on right and then once it's locked in you can turn it all the way around and without the brakes no with the brakes with the brakes with the brakes okay, okay. let's go My heart is bumping. <laughs> My heart is How bumping. How was that? And Thank you, Horatio Pagani. Thank you, Alfardon Motors. And we're going to talk about them in other uh, episodes because the history in itself is amazing. You guys are going to love it. told me that there's something interesting i mean i was wondering where to put the baggage and all of a sudden they're like oh yeah so i'm gonna try and do it the right way i mean i have no idea how to oh, hold yeah. oh my god i want to be so delicate with this okay it's heavy yeah. big car big car big covers big covers wow I mean, just the carbon fiber on it and the leather and the stitching. And again, Italian, you know, craftsmanship <clears throat> down to the very small details. Wow. Wow. I mean, for a first episode. Oh, yeah. What a way to kick it off, right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just like having the exclusive. And it's the first. I mean, it's just the, the information. The yeah. thing that 
you guys don't know is the fact that that wouldn't be possible without Anupam's help because uh, he's the guy who made this possible and I'm very blessed to have him. Yeah, let's uh, get the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get him out. Yeah. Give a cameraman a shot as well. Say hello to everybody. There we go. There you go. Okay. There you go. That's it. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You're most welcome. It's a blessing to meet you also. No, no, it's an absolute pleasure for me. And guys. you're going to see him more because he is one of the representatives of Al Fardan group and we're going to have a part we're going to talk about Al Fardan group. We're going to talk about so many things. The success story behind the name Al Fardan is so huge, it's going to blow your mind. Uh, we're going to keep that on other episodes. So thank you very much. Thank you for coming here. Thank you, Anupam. Guys, we'll see you soon. Take another thing.